When I found out that about 40% of all twins show signs of a private language or autonomous language, I was surprised. I didn't expect that percentages to be so high. You may be wondering what exactly autonomous language is. Well, in short, what we call autonomous language is a type of language used between children that is hardly or not at all intelligible for others. Autonomous language is not only used between twins, it also sometimes occurs with singletons. For example, in a situation where two toddlers see each other daily at the daycare center, or even sometimes between a singleton and one of the parents. But in the twin situation, autonomous language occurs much more frequently. This is simply due to the fact that twin children are same age siblings and they spend most of their time together, especially during the first years of their lives. That's why it's also called twin language. There are several types of autonomous language, varying from a mild type, where you can mostly follow the children's language, to the extreme type, where only the children understand each other. The name twin language suggests that it is some sort of self-made secret language, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Analyzing autonomous language, it seems that the language used between the children is originated from the mother language, using words like woo-woo, meaning dog, where the barking sound becomes the verb. When children learn to talk, they use imitation. They pick up the language that's being used around them. Autonomous language can emerge when the children take over each other's incorrect language, like incorrect words or immature pronunciation. Sometimes twin children are so much focused on each other that the language correction of the parents doesn't have much effect. And as long as the children understand each other by using their own language, they can largely fulfill each other's needs. So maybe for the children there's no need to improve their language. But to prevent your twins from getting isolated within a group of playmates, it is very important to try and prevent autonomous language as much as possible. There are several things that can help. Try to always respond to your children's attempt to speak, so they feel that you are interested in hearing what they're trying to say. Encourage your children to talk by reading to them or singing songs together. You can think of any kind of talking game, like rhyming or Chinese whispers. Just talk, talk, talk as much as you can. Always speak correctly, quietly and understandably. Always correct your children's incorrect language by repeating their utterances correctly. Try to regularly give your children individual attention and then encourage them to speak as much as you can. And let your children regularly play with others of the same age. It is not always possible to prevent autonomous language, but it's very important that you try to prevent it as much as you can. If your children still speak unintelligibly at the age of two and a half, I recommend you contact a speech therapist to find out whether or not the children need extra support. For personal advice, you can always contact me by email, Twitter or Facebook.